I know how she feels. That is how I ran away in my old life. But I know she'll regret it someday. Hello and welcome to the Hot Rodsters Mushiko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Review. This show was very interesting to say the least. It was the first project from Studio Bind and after watching this, I look forward to seeing what they do next. This anime is based off a light novel that came out in 2014 and is often regarded as the grandfather of Isekai. This story is about a 34 year old man who was kicked out of his house for not attending his parents' funeral and watching some rather questionable content on his computer. This man sees some people on the street who are about to get hit by a truck and he heroically saves them. However, he gets hit by the truck in the process. He then dies and gets reborn into another world as a baby with the name Rudius Greyrat. He learns to live in this world of swords and magic while overcoming some of his past trauma in his old life. This is a story of redemption for this very questionable character. I'll admit it is very difficult to like the protagonist. He is a huge pervert and a borderline sexual predator. I am also uncomfortable with the fact that he lusts over children. It didn't bother me too much when I initially watched it. But someone pointed out to me that he is still a 34 year old in a child's body. At some point, we even hear him talking about grooming a girl so she'd be his perfect woman. These elements make it a bit difficult to like Rudius, but I understand that he is a character that will grow and hopefully become a better person. We've already gotten to see some of his growth in the first 11 episodes. While I might not completely like this guy, this show made me root for him to become a better person. Towards the end of the season, we even get to see him step into some leadership roles where both he and the audience learn how cruel this world can be. We get a little bit of world building and it is very interesting thus far. I still have so many questions about this new world that Rudius was thrust into and I cannot wait to learn more about it with him. And the show starts off pretty slow as we get to see Rudius adapt to this new world, but once we get accustomed to his new life, the real adventure begins. We get to meet so many characters like Roxy, Rudius's magic teacher, who was born into a demon tribe race, Zenith and Paul, Rudius's mother and father respectively, both former adventurers, Paul is a swordsman while Zenith is a healing mage, Gislanin, a member of the beast race with incredible sword skills, but is also pretty clueless when it comes to magic and math. Eris, a noble girl who learns magic from Rudius and is quite skilled in swordsmanship, not to mention she is a huge tsundere. Silphet, an elf girl who Rudius helps learn magic. And Rujard, a demon with the nickname Dead End who wants to give people a different impression of his race. And these are only a few of the characters that we get to meet in these 11 episodes. Through these characters, we get to learn about different species, power systems, and how the world works in general. The animation of this series is amazing. It was so much more than what I expected from a brand new studio. Especially when it comes to liquids like water and blood, the series just animates those perfectly and makes them seem very realistic. And overall, I just really enjoyed this series. I highly recommend that you watch it if you have not already. Yes, it is difficult to adjust to Rudius, but I know he will redeem himself in future seasons. We've already seen him grow up a bit as a character, and I, for one, cannot wait to see how he evolves in the future. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe if you want more content. And I'll see you in the next life. Peace.